What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London. How are you doing? And I hope you are enjoying the day. What a stunning day we have today. And as you can see from behind, I am at a very familiar place. I am at Premier Velocity, the supercar hire company, where I filmed my first supercar, which resulted in me purchasing the Audi R8 V8. When I finished the series, James let me in on a little secret that they were ordering a brand new 2014 Lamborghini Huracan. That was 2015. And better late than never, me and James are gonna take this car out for a spin show the interior and exterior but also have some fun in the car as well and show you what 610 brake horsepower sounds like but also what it feels like as well the best bit about the premier velocity hurricane is it is in a stunning specification it is blue scuro with black wheels yellow brake calipers and black and yellow interior here we go this is the premier velocity Lamborghini Huracan. It looks absolutely beautiful. The colour is, like I mentioned before, blue scuro. Oh, it's 2015. I said 2014. My mistake. <laughs> and as we come round, the Lamborghini Huracan splits opinions with looks. Let me know whether you like the Lamborghini Huracan's looks or whether you don't. When this first came out, I didn't think that it fitted the Lamborghini manufacturer. It, it didn't fit the Lamborghini brand. However, now looking at the car, being up close and personal with it, this car is absolutely amazing. Here we go, LP610-4. So I think we go click. Oh, that's cool. Let's do that again. And again, that is really cool oh look the door handle opens as well and wow look at this for interior we've got yellow alcantara on these bits here so it's yellow inserts in alcantara with black leather and yellow stitching all the way around <laughs> Recording and stick it up there. Ladies and gentlemen, James is back. Hello, everybody. Driving a car on Supercars of London. This is it used, it's been it, a while. It's been a while. It's been a while, but we had a new car though. Yeah, it would be great if this was on um, Thursday, throwback Thursday. Throwback Thursday, <laughs> that's the thing. I think we should do a little throwback Tuesday. You know, throwback so, Tuesday. This still a tea. With the video know? going live on Wednesday. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. All right. So we are in. Premier Velocity's kind of latest and greatest flagship vehicle. Flagship vehicle, the blue Scuro Lamborghini Huracan, which I think a few people have seen around town. And it's been seen quite a lot. It got quite quite a lot of love when I first drove it into town. It did. Um, but a few people that have said uh, one of the nicest spec Huracans that they've seen, which is nice to hear. Yeah, yeah, nice yeah. To hear. Oh, I'd, I'd, I'd agree with that. I think I've already said that this is one of the best looking Huracans. Might be up for debate because everyone's got their own taste. Absolutely. Um, but what we want to do today is go for a drive. Yep. Th throw back to my first supercar. Try yep. and do that sort of route. You had an Astro back then, didn't you? I had an Astro back then. Wow. Yeah. Times have changed. Times have changed. Times have the Astro has been written off. Is it really? Yeah. Well, fingers crossed. If you look after the Lambo. It'll be one piece. It'll be one piece. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know where you were going with that. <laughs> so, uh, being in a, uh, have you been in a hurricane before? I've been in a hurricane before. I spent quite a lot of time in a hurricane. Okay. And the two things that I would say is one, I love the interior. Yes. I think the interior is a vast improvement to the Gallardo. Um, and two, how clinical it is as being a supercar. Absolutely. But whether that means that it's good at being a Lamborghini is up for debate as well. That's that's the thing. I mean, that, that is the biggest debate. I mean, the reason why this it's hot in here, it is really hot in here. The reason why this car does so well uh, on the higher market, for one, is because it's so easy to drive. You know, it's got really light steering compared to the Gallardos. Obviously, now you being a 560 owner, then you know that it's quite difficult to drive. You know, it's, 
the offset pedals. It's not yeah. exactly the nicest driving position sometimes. Is it still an offset pedal? No, not at all. So it's like the R8 now, so it's right in front of you. Oh, wow. Well. So nice and simple. Um, you know, the, you know that travel on the brake pedal that you feel when yeah. you've got your car, you know, it's instant. You know, now that you're... They, they've updated so much stuff with this car. It's an entirely new car. The, the gearbox. Gearbox, see, that's the biggest change. Yeah. So, you know, if you've been in, you know, all the Gallardos, right from the first one up to, you know, the 570 that we yeah. ended up filming with the roof down yeah. on that day. No, when you gave me chip for not driving <laughs> with the roof down. But, but yeah, um, you know, that kind of was a character that almost defined the Gallardo, you know, that kick every time you change yeah. gear. Yeah. You know, it does provide character and it is cool. And I'm, you know, I've watched some of the videos of you in the 560 recently, you know, with your little face when it changes when you're in Corsa. <laughs> I feel like through the games. Yeah. I feel like you're about to get my, my own my own back. Is that right? Yeah, I'm about to get my own back. Yeah, yeah. Because you're now in the driver's seat and it's <laughs> me in the passenger seat. Again! It doesn't stop! He is potentially the most sanitized of all Lambos ever. Yeah, yeah. You know. It's no it's no more difficult to drive than a golf, you know. But apart from the fact that it is super, super fast, then you could use this car every day. You really yeah, could. That's Genuinely. Mental. And maybe there's a little bit of sadness linked to that because you want your car to be, you know, frank. I mean, look at it. You see this on the road, and of course, it's still got the wow factor. Yeah, and it sounds, and it those sounds crack, incredible. Those crackles. See, that, that makes me laugh. I've had loads of discussions about that crack and bang that I love in this which, car, which is engineered, which is completely engineered. Yeah. So, being so, you know, you've got these purists coming in and saying, oh, you know, they shouldn't have this crack and bang. It's, yeah. it's, it's not real. Yeah. I don't care. No, who cares? It's no, no. You go up to like five k and then feather it. <laughs> Whoever built an exhaust system that has that in it yeah. is, is, is fine by me. Yeah, it exactly. Really is fine I, by I thought me. you were going to say it's mental, but Porsche do it as well. Porsche do it and too. And Porsche aren't mental. There's a lot of space in here. There is. Kind of like um, the Gallardo, but you just don't feel like there's a lot of space because you don't have that sweeping dashboard that you get it's in the Gallardo. That's, that's the it's deceptive. It is deceptive, and that's one of the uh, the big plus points from everybody that's driven this car. As I always used to say to people when they drove Gallardo for the first time, if they'd never driven one, which is quite regular in the higher trade, dash is really high, so you think you're in a really big car when it's yeah. actually pretty tiny. Yeah. Um, you know, what they've done with the Hurricanes, they've lowered the dash right down. So again, very similar to the driving uh, position in the R8. Yeah. Because you've got a lot of, you know, your visibility is 100% better than it used to be. Well, um, apart from the rear. Well, you don't really talk about the rear. <laughs> Everyone forgets that this is this is a base model. You know, when the Hurricane, it was like, it's a Hurricane, it's a Hurricane, but you're forgetting that there's a Hurricane Spider coming, then there's a Hurricane Super Legera, then yeah, there's a Hurricane yeah. this and a Hurricane that, and a rear wheel drive one. They've got another 20 models. You know, this is going to be another Classic, Gallardo. Classic, Classic Lambo. Lambo. <laughs> Let's just hold on to this design for 30 years. <laughs> you know, and so uh, we've got a wildlife, daredevil wildlife, squirrel. Literally. Daredevil. Get a camera, get a camera. <laughs> <laughs> you got a quality shot. <laughs> But yeah, so I think that this car looks great, but you, yeah, the super legera form of this is going to be—it's going to be amazing. It is. Yeah. See, all the talk is like, <laughs> it doesn't stop. Literally, all the talk is like from the six onwards, <laughs> like it should be. You know, when you drive a turbo car, you rev it to five or six k, and then that's it. Yeah. In this, once you get to six, that's where it all is. And this car's got like 500 foot pound torque. It's a lot because it's a big engine. I'm nervous. But it's mega. I'm nervous. That's the it's, it's double clutch gearbox. There is no shun. I'm expecting at the end of the at the end of the revs to get to that. that. And there's nothing. When I first drove it, I drove it with uh, one of my colleagues, and um, and I just I looked at him and I said, this is really weird. Yeah. This is really strange. It's kind of it's, it's a little bit surreal. Yeah. You know, it, it almost uh, it, it almost felt a bit wrong to be yeah. totally honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good in the tunnel. This car sounds very good in the tunnel. 
little bit of window. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, we've always always said it. Yeah, it's great for character, but no, they've got to go twin clutch, whatever the case. So, I mean, for example, think about something like Calafari V12, V12, V12 twin gearbox. clutch gearbox, and I'm sh I'm sure that you know all about how well that works. Yeah, I do actually. It works quite well. It's, it's quite a nice, insane. quite a good package. It is insane. Then being the something brief, like the brief this, moment yeah, yeah. I had in the car. <laughs> I'm not a seasoned LaFerrari driver. Yeah, well, well that's the thing. Well, look, so that, that's quite a good thing. It's quite a good topic actually to finish on. So this, bearing in mind this is like an entry level Lambo, is what you would consider a conventionally fast car. This yeah. is a fast, fast car. It's not to be sniffed at, you know, you, you, it's, this is kind of, it's almost bike levels of speed. Yeah, but Motor, then, motorbike. motorbike. Yeah, motorbike levels of, you know, superbike levels of speed. Yeah. But then, something like a LaFerrari that you've now driven. And I'm sure that you gave I it. I can't stop. I can't. I know. I can't not smile. Not smile that you did that. You know. And I've, I've done the same. Yeah. Hold my hands up. Yo. Yeah. So we're both in that category. So I'm going to ask you before I say. So in you know, so if we're comparing this kind of car, 600 horsepower, you know, to something like the hypercars of today, your like Ferrari oh P1, that kind of yeah. thing. There is actually another level again. Oh, a huge level, which, which would be hard like, to believe. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you think that this has 610 horsepower, that's only about 10 horsepower shy of what McLaren F1 had back in the 90s, which was like the hypercar of all yeah, hypercars. Yeah. So where where is it going to go from here? Mm. That that's that's the exciting thing. Yeah, the exciting thing is as well is when it does turn into the battery powered electric motors. Like I know we, we're going on a touchy subject here. Yeah, it is. A but the power subject. is instant. It is from that. And, and that's I'm, the P the P eighty five D, which I've been I've had a I drive in as well. The Tesla, which is, it just kind of it, it, it makes me do a funny face. Yeah, because yeah. I can't quite understand what's what. <laughs> I can't comprehend it. Yeah. I don't I don't understand it. It's really strange. It's bizarre, and I, I don't know how we've done a full circle. We've started off talking about the Lamborghinis, the agricultural Gallardo, the yeah, single car, and now we're talking about yeah. all of these insane new electric, the future of cars. I mean, absolutely. This is just a, an episode. This is a Top Gear episode in itself. It is a Top Gear episode <laughs> in itself. All I'll say is that I hope that the combustion engine with cars like this stays around for a bit longer. I'm really happy that McLaren and Ferrari and Porsche have all found a way to make cars faster than they've ever been before by adding to an engine rather than replacing an engine. Mm. 
and that's cool. That is cool. But while we're on the subject, this isn't any of that. This is just a big V10, and that's why. Lambo, like Lambo car. gives it the thumbs up. Gives it the thumbs up. All day long. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'd like to thank Premier Velocity and also James for allowing me this opportunity. Always and, fun. And um, I think you're going to go blast up and down the road for the end shot now. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'll have a go. <laughs> and I will sign off now saying thanks for watching. Make sure that you subscribe if you're new. Give it a like and a thumbs up for the Lambo. And also, thumbs up for James. <laughs>can see the supercar stats here. Welcome to the Lamborghini LP560 Spider. A review that I've been waiting to do for a long time. <laughs> Lamborghini are my favourite car manufacturers ever. Um, well that hasn't changed. I've got two and we've finally been given the green light to do one on my first supercar. Okay so I feel like